Hey, hi, hello, welcome, welcome back. I'm Heather or Miss Postoit, and this is Pages with Postoit, and I'm so glad you're here. We are continuing with the band book week for September 22nd through the September 28th, and just highlighting and encouraging people to read banned books, taking a look at why some of these books have been challenged and banned, and having some fun with some really great literature out there. I have challenged myself to read and post a video once each day for the whole week. So this is my second video for Band Book Week. And all of this helps me with my goal to read 24 banned books in 2024 or 24BB, which is a hashtag that was started by MJ over at Reading This Life. I am having a great time and I'm going to highlight a book that I read way back. It has been so long, guys. I, I, uh, yeah. If you follow me at all, you may have known that I kind of had a really bad July. And it's not a bad July, I had a busy July. And I actually had a very busy August, but we're working on it here in September. So I read it in June, The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. And that book is a graphic novel kind of aimed at around 11 or 12 plus for uh, middle grade to YA. Charming sweet fairy tale esque it's just a darling book i really enjoyed it it follows prince sebastian prince sebastian is dealing with the fact that his parents think it's time for him to get married and so they keep presenting other princesses for him to possibly marry but Prince Sebastian is a little more interested in something else. He kind of has a secret, and that is that he has an other persona that comes out at night who is quite the fashionista, that is Lady Cristalia. So Lady Cristalia is kind of, I feel like it's a drag persona. They love dressing and presenting this other persona, and they have a beautiful sense of fashion which in comes the other person in the title of the book, which is the dressmaker. Frances is the dressmaker. She's quite talented. And upon seeing some things that she had made previously, the prince hires her. So she is one of only two people that know his secret and his secret identity. And she certainly dresses him and helps him to realize his dreams. Lady Cristalia is making quite the splash in Paris. And um, all thanks to the dressmaker and all of her designs and that kind of thing. It's a really sweet book. It focuses in on some pretty cool themes of obviously being who you are, loving someone, loving people enough to want what's best for them, looking out for them. It's really got kind of a fairy tale piece to it. As you read the book, it just feels kind of princessy. I loved it. I really enjoyed it. It's not very long. Jen Wang is so talented, by the way. So, this book was The Prince and the Dressmaker, it has been banned multiple times in Idaho from school libraries. I believe the main push was in 2022 for this one. So um, it's focused mostly in that state. I looked to see if there were any other places where it was being banned. Really, the focus has been Idaho. The reason for banning obviously has to do with gender identity and LGBTQIA associations. Those are the reasons. The book, I think, was even classified as pornographic. And I have to tell you, not a single ounce of anything remotely. No, it's perfectly gentle and and sweet and cute there wasn't anything there it really just has that unfortunate um hot button right now that we want to attack trans people and drag shows so yeah anyway the book's delightful 
highly recommend. I gave that one five stars. Short and sweet, guys. <laughs> so this is uh, video number two, book number two for the band Book Week. Loved this one. Anyway, keep reading. I will be back again tomorrow. And if you want to see any other of my band books, I will put a link over here. <laughs> Happy reading. Keep that freedom to read and happy band book week. Look for lots of activities throughout. Have a fabulous, wonderful day and we'll see you next time.